Hello and welcome to the East Riding County Football Association headquarters in Hull for the draw for the semi-final of the play competition. Before we start the draw, I'd just like to um, introduce a couple of people. Um, first of all, two people behind the scenes. Uh, Janine Monaghan, who's putting the cups together for us this year. And also Hannah Allison, who is the person behind the camera and putting everything on uh, YouTube for us. Uh, we also have two very special guests with us today to make the draw for the semi-finals. We have um, uh, Adam uh, from Pinefleet Wolferton. Uh, Adam's team is in, still in the plate semi-finals at under 15s. Um, Adam, you're a goalkeeper. Is yeah, that right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You just uh, come back to play for Pinefleet. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's right. At, yeah. Uh, at Barrow. Yeah, yeah, and then we folded to uh, came back to Pinefleet. Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, good season. Bad. Um, a bit of a good season, but well, you're in the semi right. finals of the yeah, plate, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. And we also have Mackenzie. Mackenzie plays for Sportly Juniors uh, Tigers yeah. in the under 12 division, and uh, Mackenzie's team is also in the um, plate semi finals. Uh, position, Mackenzie? Uh, centre mid. Centre midfield. Yeah. Is that a bit like a Paul Scholes or a, a bit of a tackler? Yeah. 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 Yeah, score some goals? No. No? no. Defensive midfielder. Yeah. Enjoying the season? Yeah, I'm doing good. Good, of course you are. Right, we're going to make the uh, draw for the um, semi finals. We'll start with the under 11s and we'll work through um, to the uh, under 18 age group. So, Adam, if I could ask you to uh, put the balls into the bag, that's great. Give them a good shuffle. And, Mackenzie, if you'd like to draw, this is the under 11s. Play at semi finals, if you could draw up the first number for me. Uh, number one. Number one, straight out of the bag, is Beverly Town. Beverly Town from the Mighton Division. Number three. And they've drawn Costello Bulls, so we have an all Mighton semi final. Number two. Number two is AFC Tickton Bulldogs, and they will play number four. Number four, which is Hazel Sporting Barracudas, so that's an all dry pool uh, semi final. So we have an all mighton semi final and an all dry pool. So two very, very interesting games there. Um, I'll just read those out again for everybody. We've got Beverly Town versus Costello Bulls. And AFC Tickton Bulldogs versus Hazel Sports in Barracudas. We'll now move on to the under 12s, which I know will be of uh, particular interest to Mackenzie. So let's go and see who he's going to draw. Number four. Number four, Victoria Dock Rangers Vikings. You draw the uh, home team, Adam. The away team, sorry. Uh, number three. Number three, Sprotley Juniors Tigers. So that's the all might and clash in the semi-final. Number two. Number two is South Cave Sporting Club. And number one. And they will be at home to East Hull Saints AFC, who have made the semi-finals from the White League. So we have uh, an all might and semi-final and a dry pull and wake semi-final. So I'll give them a good shake before we start on the uh, under 13s. Here we go. Number three. Number three, North Ferriby United. Had a good victory in the last uh, round, beating a team from a higher division. Number two. Number two is Beverly Town. That's North Ferriby United versus Beverly Town. Number four. Number four is Springer FC, who are currently top of the Kingston division. And the more. And they will play Barham Boys, who had an, an excellent victory in the last uh, round, beating a team again from a higher division. So we're giving them a good shake to go for the uh, under 14s. Here we go with the home team. Number four. Number four is Willoughby Jacks. And number one. And they will play Head and Rangers Colts. Will it be Jacks from the Mighton Division against Head and Rangers Colts from the Dragle? 
Number three. Number three is South Cave Sporting Club. And number two. And number two is Hessel Sporting Jaguars. So South Cave will be hoping to create an upset um, by beating a team from the top division. And now one that uh, Adam will be uh, of keenly interested in. Number three. Number three is Spring NFC. And they will be at home. Against the wall. We'll play Costello Pumas. Number two. I'm Fleet Wolferton. Play number four. And they will be at home to West Eller and Willoughby. So we have an all mountain clash there, Pinefully Wolverton versus West Eller and Willoughby. And an all white clash, Spring and FC and Costello Pumas. Moving swiftly on to the under 16. Number four. Number four is Warren Juniors, had a very good result in the previous round, beating a team from a higher division. We'll play number one. And they will play Cottingham Rangers Yellows from the same division. Number three. Number three is Sporting Withensee Wolves. We'll play number two. And they'll play number two, which is Driffield Tigers. Driffield Tigers from the uh, Drag Bull division, who uh, beat a team from a higher division in the previous round. So we'll go on to the final draw which is for the under 18s. Number three. Number three is Victoria Dock Rangers. And they will be at home. Number four. To Willoughby Wanderers. Number two. Number two is Brooklyn's Juniors. We'll play number one. And they will be at home to Barham Boys. Thank you guys for helping out with the draw. What do we think to the draw? I guess it probably both of you is not the tie you would have picked, I don't think, is it? No. No, well, I guess at the end of the day you've got to beat the best to get to the final, but good luck in both your matches. Um, these ties will be played on Sunday the 25th of January, with the teams going through, the winning teams going through to the final at the end of the season. Thank you very much.